people, my people, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. We don't come again, no, we don't bring get information. We'll be saying, eh, if you hear them, you go like her. Uh, and now, victory hot, man, they bring them come to you. I beg you go help us to share, help us to like, and help us to subscribe. I beg. They don't even know the meaning. But he told them you are all kleptomania. What it means is that I know my other half will go on the model. Whatever is kept, you people are possessed with a demon of criminality. That sometimes you don't even know what is making you to steal. You are demonized with the spirit of stealing. You are kleptomaniac of robbery. You steal even the things you don't need. <laughs> Do you understand? The guy finished them all. Now they were all crying. How can you call us kleptomaniac? It is not possible. We cannot be klepto. And they are, let us deal with him. They are all crying. All of them are crying. All of them. You know? And the man said, I only did it to save myself. They are dragging for uh, minimum wage. But my wife told me that with 100,000, you can't even buy a bag of rice. But they are dragging 70,000. And when they eventually have put 70,000, the idiots that they gave money to come and gather and sing are all shouting. Yes, now. I don't know that that's why they sing a him. That's why they sacked him. <laughs> Margaret said, uh, okay, that is why that is why they sacked him. He said they say he called them kleptomaniac. <laughs> oh, but the news I brought to you today, whether you are one Nigerian is to in the camp of Tinubu in the camp, of, you need to join the group. If you don't want to join our group, but make sure, make sure that whatever you are doing. Nigeria is not involved. Because if you are part of those trying to save Nigeria, Nigeria is like a man that is sinking in the river. And you are putting your hand to save that man. You want to save the man that is drowning. You are the one that will become the victim because the man will drag you because he was already sinking. He will now drag you and pull you into the water and save himself. And he knows that there is no hope for him even when he comes out. So what he's going to do is that he's going to drag you in. All of you that are trying to save him will be dragging all of you in. He doesn't want to be saved. He doesn't want to be saved because he knows that there is no more salvation for him. So even if he comes out, he will not be saved. He will remain inside that water. And you are coming to save him. Uh, one Nigeria, new Nigeria, let us, new Nigeria, uh, OB Nigeria, Antiku Nigeria, Tinubu Nigeria, you want to save Nigeria. As you are stretching your hand to save Nigeria, Nigeria will be dragging you inside that water. You will so drown, and Nigeria will drown with you because already Nigeria is drowning. Do you understand? Do you understand? So every, that is why when Chowere made Mazin Nam the kind of subject, his number five point, his agenda number five, you know, many of you, as foolish as you are, you think that there is hope for Nigeria. You don't need to even put Mazen Namdekano as your number five. You understand? Because for Mazen Namdekano, we already have a blueprint. We already have a way. We know the people that are responsible. We know them. That is why these troops that are ready now, we are changing gear. The troops are changing gear. Every one of you responsible for Mazen Namdekano remaining there. I'm telling you, the troops, we are changing our position. And we are facing you now. Oh, I I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm because everything you guys are doing, the troops are taking observation. They are very observant. They observe every movement. They observe everything you do. They observe every sign you make. So they are going to target the main place the problem is coming from. And the problem, most of them are from within. Within our own people, our own territory, governors, senators, house of rep. Agabono, Tubantaya. Many, many things. Many, many things. I'm telling you, some of you are the one I got them to wake up. Yes, because the stage I know now. Why they are 
preparing to deal with their own. Even in the full and in the house, in the house, they are going to, to deal with their own. But the only, the only mistake is that they are still calling Nigeria. No, you can't. You are Arawa, you are not Nigeria. You are middle bed, you are not Nigeria. You are Odudua, only that Odudua out here, they go, you are not. They thought they had somebody in Tinubu, but they don't know that Tinubu is already to the lies. Tinubu is finished, he's gone. Because Tinubu is now stealing to save his family. Tinubu's family will not have any place, no location, because Nigeria, there will not be any place safe for anybody. Anybody. Right now, today as I'm speaking right now, the dollar is going up as quickly to up to one, almost 1,800. Almost 1,800 today. Mm -hmm. You know, the last time what Tinubu did was they just pack money, pack money, pack money. They borrow money, borrow money here, they printed money up and down and pack into Central Bank. And then the dollar that came down to 1,005, 1,004. How many can they pack in again? Because there's nothing left to pack in for them to pretend as if the economy is reviving. Nigeria economy can never revive again. Nigeria institutions can never revive again. They increase your minimum wage. Even if they like, let them increase this to 200,000. You can never survive with it inside Nigeria. You can't. So together, we must understand that it is time to bring an end to the evil and ungodly entity. Contraption called Nigeria. Eh? Yes, no matter how you want to do it, it must end. First of all, you have to reject it from your subconscious. Yes, because the troops must be together to make sure it ends. Together and it makes you want to go Because the earlier you do it, the better for you. Don't, don't elongate your suffering. Because if you're, the more you are saying, hey, we'll save Nigeria, uh, we are, you are demanding, the request, what people are you, are you requesting for? To make changes for you. No, can you tell me the people you are requesting to make changes for you? Is it the Senate that cannot stand the fact that they told them that they are criminals, that they are thieves? One of their own, who has been stealing with them, rose up from within them and told them the truth. And now they are saying, come and tell us which of the best. In fact, why am I wasting time? Let me go and bring the video. So from there, I will put the link. Everybody will come in. Those of you that think that what you are trying to do to save Nigeria will work, it is time for you to think about how to change the topic. You know, if you want to go on a protest, decide. It is good that the army not change on own. Then decide to make sure that it is not about Nigeria. It, should, it has nothing to do with Nigeria. You want to save your own community, your own indigenous people. For us in Biafra land, we have our own protest. We are taking it on a higher dimension. You already know that from 29th, 30th, and 31st, you know, and again on the 2nd of August, we have a higher level of a new dimension of our own protest, which has been on for over three years now. Can you sustain three years protest? Three years! We have sustained it. Three solid years we have sustained our protest. Three years! So you just want to plan uh, uh, days of rage. Then your days of rage, you should know how to do it. Because if once you are associated with Nigeria, the people you want to complain to are the people you are going to be hearing now. Let me bring it. Let me bring it very quickly. Okay, first of all, go to go to Twitter. The very first the very first video there. The very first video there. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. Look at them. No, no. Okay. Let me refresh. Because please don't leave. Don't start the dialogue. You need to call more people to come and join us because it's going to get hot in here. Yeah, it's going to get very, very hot in here right now. I'm sweating already, so it's going to be very hot. So let's go. Uh -huh. He said all of you. Shut up. Okay. As I put it there, is there already? Uh, let me let me get link. Because I need to put link. What's the one I put link? As, as not a year now. And the belle, be be they burn you, they be prepare you. You go want to, you want to come in very quickly and tell them that look, <laughs> uh, 
It is not about uh, Nigeria. This Nigeria, there is no hope for you in Nigeria. So that you will quickly adopt something that you want to call it for your own good, oh, oh Komaka, for your own good. Okay, I have it there. Let me pin it. Uh, let me pin it. Where do I have a... Okay, let me already let me play so it will be going on. Those of you in the comment section, tell me if you're not hearing it, okay? So I don't want to waste your time. We are thieves. That's a very blanket statement. Just this morning, sir. Just this morning. He did not say you are a thief. That he said all of you in government. All of us. Are kleptocrats. Yes. And so, uh, a thief is different. Okay. A klepto, uh, somebody who is suffering from kleptomania. Okay. Is somebody who steals uh, without, is, is, who steals, and uh, then most of the time you steal what you don't need. That means you can go to somebody's house and you remove the key uh, uh, in the door of the person's house. You don't need the key, but because it is your business to steal, you must steal. So you take the key, put it in your pocket, and leave the house. Or you see, you see the, a, a young child playing football, and you see the football, and leave the child crying, whether you, you, you are going to use it or not. So that's what he was saying. He was saying that you are surrounded, all of you are kleptocrats. He didn't say okay. you are thieves. I think he's stronger than being a thief. A thief is somebody who steals what he needs. A kleptocrat. He says kleptocrat. Kleptomaniacs. That's what you are, not kleptocrats. <laughs> even the seated head doesn't even know what doesn't know what uh, the what he is. Kleptomaniac. <laughs> Continue. And it is from the rest of everything. Whether it needs those things or not. So that is what you are. Okay. By virtue of that division. Yes. <laughs> Mr. President. And you are saying you are not. Yes, I am saying I am not. <laughs> he told him, oh, he said that is what you are by virtue of that. <laughs> I want to repeat that again. I want to repeat that again. That was with me. <laughs> thief. I think he's stronger than being a thief. Okay. A thief is somebody who steals what he needs. A kleptocrat is somebody who steals everything. Whether he needs those okay. things or not. So that is what you are. Okay. By virtue of that division. Yes, that's what you are. Mr. President. And you are saying you are not. Yes, I am saying I am not. <laughs> After this statement by Senator Ali Ndume, I have received several calls far and near, especially from my children, that told me that they needed an explanation on why a senator especially a ranking senator of the Federal Republic, we call all of us kleptomaniacs. Just the, his own children, his own children, know, who knows that their father is a kleptomaniac? His own children. There are so many scriptures that this brother is throwing in here. You know, it is not Bible study. We are not in Bible study. So any scripture Rosario is putting, maybe somebody might go and study them. There may be some important things in those scriptures you are putting up there. Thank you for those scriptures. But uh, we are not in a Bible study. Otherwise, I would have said let's study it. Maybe if we have time, we might go through some of those scriptures you are putting. Thank you very much. All right. His own children. That's why you need, eh, you need to make sure you are with the troops. And the children of these criminals, the children of these kleptomaniacs, are not in any way supposed to come near the troops because they are also kleptomaniacs, small, small kleptomaniacs. Because the children, the shame of their father, don't they shame them? Then the children is telling their father, eh, please, how can a fellow senator? come and call you by this name you need to call this man to order if there are children who are probably more educated than them who understand that yes this thing is getting out of hand though if inside senate one of them will come out and call them a kleptomaniac you know what i don't pass gary oh the go far the troops are ready this is not business as usual this is not the days of leah when all the children are born they are made they do nothing now god is born God has been better and he comes with a troop. God 
God has been better and he comes with a troop, a troop with a sense of belonging, a troop that knows what they are after, a troop that understands that we must not continue to do the same thing and expect a different result, a troop that understands that if the walls of Sodom has fallen down, nobody should be permitted to erase it, a troop that understands that Jericho has fallen and only attempt to raise up the walls of Jericho we face a serious backlash. A troop that understand that we are up against the zoo and we must end that zoo today, not tomorrow. A troop that know that we are God, we are ready, we are one, we must fight and end this impunity. That's the essence of this troop. Not a troop that will come because you want to go and protest, or you want to go and do nonsense, and then they will gather you and then they give you money and you keep quiet. Oh, because uh, we already have a government that moves and they tell you, hey, you, they tell you, do you know Simon? I know him, do you know I know where he is, I know the gang, I know the people. And we tell you where they are, just give me money, they give you money, and you want to come and stop what we are doing. Tineka Ogoku, Tineka Ogoku, check everyone that made any attempt to stop this troop and come back. And tell me what you discovered that happened to them. That is why nobody can stop this troop. Nobody. Amuba they never burn you. Nobody. Look, let me tell you, all you bunch of idiots, your children is telling you, instead of your children to tell you the truth, that look, what this man is saying is true, because they know that they are living above their, you know, they are normal. They are living above normal as your children. Some of them are flying private jets. Some of them have their own personal houses in London, in New York. And then minimum wage. Nigerians are struggling with having 70,000 as their minimum wage. How much is 70,000? 70, 70,000. Okay, let me tell you how much 70,000 is. One minute. Let me tell you. With the exchange rates... You know that I have on my tablet here, I will tell you what 70,000 naira is exactly in dollars. 70k. 70,000 is $40. $40 for one month. $40 for one month. If you get a, there's a kind of job you will have in America, one hour they will even pay you 40. Somebody say 42, $42. It's not to $42. With the app I have here, with the app I have here, 42, let me tell you what forty two dollars is giving me. If I want to send you money right now, and I put forty two dollars, I will send you seventy two thousand six hundred and sixty. That's what I will send you. Nam So with the app I have, this app, you know, the tap tap app, because I use tap tap to send uh, money. The tap tap app that I use to send money. If I'm sending you forty forty two. Uh, Forty-two dollars. You are going to receive instantly seventy-two thousand six hundred. That's what you receive, and that is the money they pay somebody, some people, one hour job, one hour. Some people make as much as maybe if they don't make too much in America, some of them make even twenty dollars, twenty-five dollars for one hour. And some of us here in Europe, like in Italy, where the pay is not very high, you know, some people make ten, ten, ten euros. For one hour, ten euros for one hour. If they work for eight hours, you calculate it. So make eight euros for one hour. So if they work for eight hours in a day, calculate what they make in a day. In a day, oh. so that means they make close to sixty to seventy dollars uh, uh, euros in a day in one day. But this one is in a month, a whole month, <clears throat> a whole month. That's what they are doing. So the children of this. Criminals who normally they are, daddy will even send them like twenty thousand dollars as pocket money for one week, fifty thousand dollars pocket money for one month. That one now pocket money for some of these children that are now telling their papa to go and uh, query the man that told them that they are all kleptomaniacs. So tell me a child of this senator who pockets fifty thousand dollars as pocket money is he or she not a kleptomaniac? In an economy where you that is suffering and you know using your sweats and even begging for it, you are not making up to fifty dollars in a month, a whole month. And that idiot's son has fifty thousand dollars as pocket money. Hello. So what are you telling me? And now they are.
complaining. These are the people you want to go and give a request. So we already have a request of how many this thing demand. You bring that demand to give these people. And you think you are going to make a headway. You think they are going to give you that demand? No. A new Nigeria is not possible. You know why it can never be possible? Because in that new Nigeria, you will still have all these people. In that new Nigeria, you have a structure with all these people. If they are not there, maybe you want to chase them away. Their children are there. And their children are the ones that are now complaining that their dad should go and fight the people calling them kleptomaniacs. Do you understand what I mean? So you see, all your hope is dashed even before you start a protest for a new Nigeria. Your hope is completely destroyed before you even kick start the protest for a new Nigeria. You need freedom now. You need a change now. There's nothing in Nigeria that should be associated with it. Tifnubu. <laughs> Already deleted Nubu from your subconscious. You think what happened in Kenya will be able to happen in Nigeria? Eh? You think what happened in Kenya? Eh? With the, now, you see the way the stage from state to state that Kenyans, you know, did their own. And it came to the point whereby the president came and the president was, you know, crying and begging. So let me not uh, take so much of your time. Let me play this video because it's important that you hear it. I need my backup to be ready and working before I will play in it. All right, let's go. Take it back and listen from the top. I don't want to distract it. We are thieves. That's a very blanket statement. Just this morning, sir. Just this morning. He did not say you are a thief. That he said all of you in government. All of us. Are kleptocrats. Yes. And so, uh, a thief is different. Okay. A klepto, uh, somebody who is suffering from kleptomania. Okay. Is somebody who steals uh, without, is, is, who steals, and then, then most of the time you steal what you don't need. That means you can go to somebody's house and you remove the key uh, uh, in the door of the person's house. You don't need the key, but because it is your business to steal, you must steal. So you take the key, put it in your pocket, and leave the house. Or you see, you see the, a, a young child playing football, and you see the football, and leave the child crying. Whether you, you, you are going to use it or not. So that's what he was saying. He was saying that you are surrounded. All of you are kleptocrats. He didn't say okay. you are thieves. I think it's stronger than being a thief. A thief is somebody who steals what he needs. A cryptocrat is one who steals everything, whether it needs those things or not. So that is what you are. Okay. By virtue of that discussion. Yes. Mr. President. And you are saying you are not. Yes, I am saying I am not. After this statement by Senator Ali. Now, he said that he is saying he is not. It is not that he is not, though. Now, do you hear what they are saying? He did not say, I did not steal. He is not saying, I am not, though. He did not reject. So he is just saying, I am saying I am not. It is not that he is not. He knows he is, but he just needs to say, I am saying I am not. You know, because already uh, the Senate president told him that is what you are by virtue of what Ndume said. Yeah? But you are saying you are not. And then in order to agree with the the prayer, the prayer of uh, 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 remember, I don't know if you remember how they pray. <laughs> I don't know if you remember how they pray. They pray with money. Uh, we are sending prayers to you. We are going to send prayers into your account. You know, you will receive the prayers that the prayers are coming. Zoological <laughs> ah! so, Republic. Okay, now let's go. <laughs> Okay, so she, he has to agree with the prayer of uh, Akpavi. Let's go. Playing football, and you see the football, and leave the child crying. Whether you, you, you are going to use it or not. So that's what he was saying. He was saying that you are surrounded, all of you are kleptocrats. He didn't say okay. you are thieves. I think he's stronger than being a thief. Okay. A thief is somebody who steals what he needs. A kleptocrat is somebody who steals everything. Whether I need those things or not. So that is what you are. Okay. You know why, you know why this thing is sweeted me, this video sweet me so much? 
I love the fact that they understand the definition of what Udu may call them. And I, I love the fact that they are actually interpreting it. In fact, the fact that the senior president is the one giving it a proper interpretation, it gives me satisfaction. <laughs> you understand? So the senior president himself is the one giving the kleptomaniac, you know, uh, title that befits them. The senior president is the one giving the interpretation and the analysis. This is a very, you know, it makes the job easier for Van Van Van. It makes the job easier for Van 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 so that I don't need to talk too much because already my senior <laughs> elder statesman of the Zoological Republic have already given it a befitting interpretation. So, good job. Good job, Akpadu. Good job. Good job. Stronger than being a thief. A thief is somebody who steals what he needs. A kleptocrat is somebody who steals everything, whether he needs those things or not. So that is what you are, okay. by virtue of that description. Yes. Mr. President. Yes. And you are saying you are not. Yes, I am saying I am not. After this statement by Senator Ali Ndume, I have received several calls far and near especially from my children that told me that they needed an explanation on why a senator, especially a ranking senator of the Federal Republic, we call all of us kleptomaniacs. Just this morning, the president of Nigeria brought a supplementary appropriation bill to the Senate. It means there is nothing that can insulate us from the affairs of this government if we are the ones that are passing supplementary budgets and even the appropriation act. That means that I need a lot of explanation to my children and to my loved ones. When I say loved one, I'm not talking of wives. I have only one wife. But my loved ones are scattered all over the world. Who wants an explanation on you go explain, 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 explain. You are still tired. <laughs> you go explain, explain, explain. You no, know, he said loved ones. You know, for you to know how evil these people are, he knows very well that when he said loved ones, he's referring to different gay friends. Uh, one girlfriend in Dubai, another girlfriend in uh, Rome, another girlfriend in Paris, another one girlfriend in Abuja. She, he has one girlfriend in his village somewhere, cornered somewhere. You know, he had to explain. As who asked you to explain? When I say loved ones, I don't mean girlfriends. I have only one wife. You are a buffoon. <laughs> you can explain tired. That is the reason why they are kleptomaniacs. Because Undume understands. Undume. You know, by the time if this Ndume, eh, this Ndume saga, you will hear more. You will hear more. I am telling you, what you will see very soon, they are going to come and corner Ndume. They will corner him and tell him, Nana, wow. That's if they don't even go and buy him. They will corner him and tell him, Nah, what you they talk? One, blow our, you blow our cover. Because the guy will tell them the reason why he actually chose the right word. He actually chose the right word to call them kleptomaniacs. They are indeed kleptomaniacs. And what makes them a kleptomaniac is actually this thing this man is trying to deny now. If you look at his back there, you will see that one that looks like uh, his, his jaw looks like Pomo. You can see him up there. That was a former Senate president. All of them are there. What are they doing? That one is not supposed to be down. The person that won Senate in, from his, this in, in his constituency, they put that one out and they put him. And that one, we want to cough, they use money, slap, and they keep quiet. They, all of them are there. Ndume knows that. And that's why Ndume said it. And if you see the code show that this man is using to explain and so this thing, they just want to, they want to clear themselves and look like they are doing these things legitimately. How can you be legitimate? With all this kind of money you people are rooting out, and there's somebody from your midst, Senate Whip, a top ranking member, is 
force you. Instead of you to hide your head in shame, you are coming here to talk nonsense. And then some of you want to protest and carry the paper and meet these idiots, this bunch of kleptos, and tell them to answer your, you know, problems. I just stay watching her with one corner eye. <laughs> I continue to talk to my children and to my loved ones. When I say loved one, I'm not talking of wives. I have only one wife. But my loved ones are scattered all over the world. Who wants an explanation on the inference of what Senator Ali Ndume said about all of us in the government? Mr. Senate President, I ran an election against a very formidable PDP member. And just over the weekend, there were publications that all of us have <coughs> Yeah, uh, thank you, uh, Yazi Soja. You, maybe you are just joining me now. <coughs> I said it from the word go. That Ndume is saying that because he knows that he is one of them. I said it from the beginning, so maybe you need to go back and watch. So I am not playing it to exonerate Ndume. Ndume said what he said because he wants, you know, to expose his gang of fellow kleptos. Because Ndume did not say, you all are kleptos. I am not. He said, we all, all of them are. The only that I don't know the video where he said it, because they are actually exposing what Ndume said. The video where he said it amongst them, I don't have it. Let me see what this one is writing here. Yes, and this one, this idiot, one idiot here is talking about IPOP leadership. Idiot. Come on, get out of my platform. He's watching from a, what you are watching from Facebook. Because they are Aka, Aka, Biafra. No, no, idiots. All of you, they, you are, you know, in the IPO, IPOS Nigeria, you know, they also have klepto. Those ones are kleptos in their own level. That one is watching from a, look at the comments. This, this one made. Biafra. If you read it, you just see that this one is another branch of klepto that comes, finds himself on my platform on Facebook and is talking nonsense. So, the brother that uh, distracted me now, he has it. So, actually, I have said it from the beginning. Ndume exposed this thing because he knows them. It is what Ndume knows that he said. Ndume has been part of it. Any prayer that all these ones received, Ndume also receives. Every prayer that the senior president sends into account, you know, what they, when you pray, you pray, and you close your eyes and pray. But when this was when they pray, it is money. Money is entering the account. And the money that enters through prayer is not 20 million or 30 million or 100 million. It's in billions that enter their prayer. So when they take a break and they recess, they go. Prayers go. Okay? So Ndume knows them. Because he is part of them. So he said he said it to be able to save his head. Because he said many people have called him and told him, quickly come and expose this thing, you know, so that, because right now I'm telling you, if there is an onslaught coming to these people, of course, you know, the people that will be dealing with these people, they will give uh, Nkume a soft landing because he's actually now the one receiving punishment for exposing his fellow thieves. Because he is also a thief. And the place Mugume will break the camel's back. You know, there is a thief that repents. And he says, Oh, my dear friends, I know I've eaten so many, but these ones that are left with me, I am going to use it to show you that, look, this is the reason why I'm telling you that we are kleptomaniacs. So, look, I, Senator Mugume or Ndume, I have. 17,000 billion dollars, so so and so place. Look at it, evidence. I am going to bring it and give it back to the people because it belongs to the people. So that is the only place Ngume or Ndume will get a, a you know a reply for salvation from his people because the onslaught is coming very soon. Uh, that is if these people can really do it on their own people. For our own side, I can hear you. I can hear you. Because as we are saying this thing now, eh, every one of you will be senator. Eh? All of you kleptomaniacs that come from Biafra land. All you kleptocriminals eh, from Biafra land. 
begin to find where you go. Or you, the best thing you can do to save yourself, you klepto criminals. Whether you are newly elected from a, a Labour Party or whatever, the only thing that will save you now is that your klepto money. Go just go and deposit it with the people. Deposit it to the people. We have a government now. Put it in the government of Biafra so that we will get arms to protect our land. Because by the time we declare Biafra, we will get ourselves ready. So the only thing that will save your nyash is you do this. And you are, can never be part of our government. If you are klepto, you are klepto. You can, there's no klepto that we ever have anything in our government. So the only thing that you can see, you can see, you can see, you can you see, you can see, you can see, to save yourself because it is not enough for you to come and tell us that you are a klepto and then that klepto the proceeds of that klepto you still keep it back eh? and you keep it back and continue to tell us you will be a klepto now if you are a klepto and you repent on your klepto kleptomania or kleptomaniac you know uh, is seen you need to drop all those things. Yeah? You need to drop all those things that uh, proceeded, you know, out of that klepto, klepto business, your criminality. So you get me now. So I never exonerated Ndume. But it is good that Ndume said it, said what he said. It's good. So that is because he said it, that's why we're having this uh, topic on them. And that's why they are running kata kata kiti kiti right now. All right, let's go. Remember that I've already put the link. The link is already on this program. So if nobody comes in and I finish my analysis, I will close my camera and then we'll call it a night, okay? So the link is there. So if there, by any reason you want to say anything on this program, you can readily come in, even while this man is talking. Let me put the link again. So if by chance you, you, you your, your stomach, they touch you to say something, eh? you will come up quickly and uh, I already pinned it, the link I'm um, sharing uh, I know Chuse that loves to talk in these uh, things so I already put the link Chuse welcome I'll bring you in I already put the link and I'm sharing it again okay uh, <laughs> Chuse you're welcome so just uh, let, let's hear this kleptomaniac let's hear him talk so when you finish talking okay. I'll give you the microphone okay thank you my brother God bless you All right. A very formidable PDP member. And just over the weekend, there were publications that all of us APC in the Kitty State, if a member of the Senate who is an APC member calls us kleptomaniacs, it means the senator representing the Kitty North, that is myself, is also one of them because he's a member of uh, APC. This is not good for our image. It is not good for me. And I think that statement is a breach of my, of my privilege as a senator. See the statement is a breach. Is a breach on his privilege for being a senator. Now, as we speak, Right now, the worst country under the face of the earth with the worst battered image is Nigeria. Nigeria have no image. Nigeria have no credence. Nigeria have no love. Nigeria have no nothing good to say about Nigeria. Nigeria's image is completely battered. Nigeria is poto poto, and this klepto is talking about his own kleptomaniac image. Which image? He's talking about privilege. Eh? So that is why you need to understand the level of your anger. That's why you need to understand how you will channel your anger towards these people. Do you understand what I mean? This one is still talking about privilege. A privileged klepto. Can you believe that? <laughs> In the zoo, your own colleague that works with you, he said he is your guy, your guy, because Ndume is a senate whip. You know what 
to weep means weep. If I like normal explanation, I mean weep. Can we put energy on that? See, net weep, I will energy on that. Somebody should explain to me. I don't know the work of the weep. He's a senior whip, so he's senior you. So somebody that is capable of whipping you is the one that comes to tell you that all of you, including himself, are a bunch of kleptos. He said it. I'm not the one that said it. He said it to your own hearing. He said it to you. You cannot deny it. You did not say it's a lie. You know, you know he will be able to produce evidence, but yet you are talking about your privileged image. Who are these people? You know, and you're talking about one a new Nigeria, a new Nigeria where these people will be a part of it, a new Nigeria that these people will help you to construct. How is it possible? Eh? How is it possible? Hey, Chineke Mere Mere, Aro. Okay. Mr. President. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, like I said earlier, Senator Ndume's statement is a blanket statement, and I will want to implore this Senate, I want to implore this Senate in a matter of days for him to come categorical with evidence of the people he referred to as kleptomaniacs.